Hi everyone and welcome to Nico's Kitchen once again. Today we're making the most incredible lunch. We're making a beautiful pork and apple baguette. Alrighty guys, so we're making such a gorgeous lunch. It's a fantastic pork and apple baguette and it is absolutely delicious, I promise you. This is what you're going to need. You're going to need some pork steaks. Now I've just got some leg steaks here, okay? Get any cut that you like, okay? But try and keep it about that thickness, okay? So you're gonna need some pork leg steaks. You're going to need a French baguette roll. You're going to need some brown sugar. I've just shredded up a red cabbage. And you're going to need some Granny Smith or some Bramley apples or, or a green apple. Uh, the green apple really works best for this and I've just uh, cut them up, I've peeled them, cored them and then I've just cut them up into slices just like that. You're also going to need some English mustard, okay, and some butter. Now guys, this lunch uh, like I said, is absolutely delicious, and the apple and the pork just work so well. So wait till you see what we're going to do with the apple. I'm going to bring you over to the stove, and let's get started. So first things first, guys, what I want to do is just get our butter and put it in the pan and just let it melt. Right, guys, once that butter's melted, I then want to put in our apple slices. Now, guys, the idea behind this is we want to caramelise and soften these Granny Smith apples because when we bite into the roll, it's just going to be melting in your mouth. And we're going to add brown sugar to this in a moment to really get that caramelisation going as well, just to give it a nice sweetness so it stops the apple from getting really sour. Right, guys, at this stage, what I want to do is just sprinkle over that brown sugar. You can see already that brown sugar starting to caramelise on the bottom of the pan and with the apples. Absolutely beautiful. So guys, about three minutes is all you need. We, we want them soft, but we don't want them mushy. Okay, So we don't want to end up with an apple puree. We still want to get them to hold their shape. So at about this stage is when we stop, and then we're going to work on our pork. Right guys, using the same pan, I want to put some more butter in there. Then I want to add in our pork. Season with pepper and salt. Now guys, you want to cook these for about two and a half minutes each side. Don't forget, you have to cook it through. Make sure it's cooked, but also it's very thin so it doesn't need that much. And please, don't overcook it. And again, season the other side. Now guys, very important is just tilt the pan to one side like that and just get the juices and just baste over the meat there because it will keep that side from drying out. Right guys, our pork's done. Leave it to rest for five minutes and we're going to go and start on our baguettes. Okay guys, as you can see, I've cut our baguette in half and then half again. So, I'm going to grab the tops, pull them away for a second. I'm going to grab our English mustard. I just want to put a fine coating of the mustard straight on the bottom of that baguette. Then what I want to do is just grab our cabbage that I've shredded and just lay the cabbage on top of that mustard. And then just place our pork straight over the top. And then very carefully just place that stewed apple that we did just on the top of the pork. And then the tops straight on. So there you have it guys, Nico's pork and apple baguettes. Absolutely fantastic. Just think of the flavors in there. We've got the tartness of the mustard that's playing around with that peppery cabbage. We've got the sweetness of the pork and then again, the caramelization with the apples and the pork and the apples are just a match made in heaven and that beautiful crusty baguette. It's absolutely marvelous. Right, we're gonna give this a test.
Mm. Mm -mm. Beautiful. On every level. So guys, this is a definite one for lunchtime. Please give this a go. The flavors are intense. Absolutely beautiful. As always, the ingredients are in the sidebar. Just click more info. You take care and I'll see you next time.